You know the deep sea is dark. You know it's cold. You know it's home to anglerfish and giant squids. But when you picture the end of life down there, a massive whale carcass sinking to the abyss, what do you picture happens to the bones? You probably imagine they just sit there, dissolving slowly. Or perhaps, some colossal shark eventually nibbles them clean. That's the expectation. But the reality is the ocean floor is home to a creature so specialized, so bizarre, it literally dissolves skeletons with acid just to survive. This isn't science fiction. This is the bone-eating worm, or Osadax. And its entire life story is a gruesome, mind-bending masterclass in evolution. Imagine a whale dies. It's huge, a city of flesh and fat. It takes weeks to sink, finally landing thousands of feet below the surface in total darkness. This event, a whale fall, is a rare, sudden feast. Scavengers tear away the meat, but when the soft parts are gone, the skeleton remains. It's a mountain of durable, calcium-rich bone, seemingly indigestible. And that's exactly when the bone worms arrive. How does a worm, a small gelatinous tube, eat something as hard as bone? This is the first betrayal of your expectations. Ozodax doesn't have a mouth, it has no stomach, it has no digestive system in the way you understand it. Instead, the female worms secrete a cocktail of acid and enzymes. Think of it like a biological bone-dissolving solvent. Once the bone is softened, the worm pushes out elaborate, tree-like roots. These roots tunnel deep inside the bone marrow like microscopic anchors. They are not digestive organs. They are absorption organs. Living within these roots are specialized symbiotic bacteria that do all the heavy lifting, breaking down the difficult fats and proteins trapped inside the bone. The worm is essentially gardening inside a whale skeleton, using the bacteria to harvest energy from the most inert material imaginable. It's a living syringe, a mobile acid factory, all designed to exploit a resource that should be off-limits. But the weirdness doesn't stop there. The bone worm's life cycle is even more alien. When scientists first found them, they only discovered the large females. They couldn't find the males. It turns out the males are ridiculously small, microscopic dwarfs. And they never leave. Here's the shocker. Dozens of these tiny males live permanently inside the female worm's body, literally in a harem. They don't eat bone. They just exist to produce sperm. A single female is a self-contained, bone-eating reproduction machine, maximizing its chances of passing on its genes before the temporary whalefall food source is exhausted. The Osidax worm is more than just a deep-sea oddity. It's a biological breakthrough that forces us to shatter our old assumptions about ocean life. We expected slow decay. We found acid-secreting skeletons being metabolized by worms with no mouths. We expected normal animals. We found females housing dozens of microscopic male harems inside their bodies. The bone worm is the ultimate reminder that the deep sea is a world of impossible solutions. It teaches us that in the crushing darkness, life is not just tenacious. It's utterly, terrifyingly inventive.